Yo, 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 what up, what up? We're talking about Bitcoin SV today in this episode. So if you are interested in Bitcoin SV, this is a former fork of Bitcoin. Well, technically a fork of Bitcoin Cash, but it's all how you look at it. Um, but I wanna dive into kind of what's going on with Bitcoin SV. So we have the miner mining empty blocks. Uh, we have that whole fiasco. Uh, I don't know if that's still going on. Drop it in the comment section if it is, if you guys have been following it. But while all this has been happening, Bitcoin SV has still been cranking out the most transactions out of any other chain. So we have these two parallel things. Uh, the, there's no malicious activity going on with Bitcoin SV. There's no major dumping, even though the price has gone down. We haven't seen like a major dump from this specific miner um, and that kind of thing. Uh, we've had the usual Craig Wright uh, whiny babble. Uh, this guy's got to get over this I'm Satoshi thing. I mean, is it just me or is 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 this whole thing uh, in your head got to come to an end? I mean, now he's basically hinting at a legal battle against Apple over this white paper being stored in Apple devices, uh, computers specifically. Bro, nobody gives a fuck if you were Satoshi. If you were watching this episode or if you if, if you're somebody that knows Craig, tell him to watch this episode. Nobody gives a fuck, bro. You out of everybody should have known how important it was to hang on to these private keys. And if you don't have access to them anymore, that's your fault. That's not our fault for not believing that you're Satoshi. That's your fault for not being mature and careful with your private keys. So this guy really just needs to let this Satoshi thing die. I thought he was going to. He did mention that he was going to like finally he mentioned it on Twitter or somebody interviewed him. And he's like, he said, like, I'm tired of convincing everybody I'm Satoshi like let's stick back to that craig we don't we don't we don't need this added stress on bitcoin sv of you like stirring up the pot of of shit um nobody just nobody cares i think at this point nobody gives a fuck if you're satoshi like if you are great if you're not great nobody cares so just please if this if this satoshi thing can just be done let's let it be done so we can do all the cool things on bitcoin sv or Bitcoin, however you want to look at it, as it's supposed to be. So, I did do a live live stream today, guys. I, I do hope and recommend you go back and watch it. It's kind of covering this Mount Gox thing that's coming to a close here, and people are finally going to be able to be reimbursed out of this 20% recovery of... Um, all I could find information on, though, is Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. I can't find any information on where this Bitcoin SV went, where it is, um, or Bitcoin Gold, or even Bitcoin Diamond for that matter. So this kind of is an episode asking the Bitcoin SV community. Um, you know, I'm not in. I'm not on in on Twitter, guys. Uh, so I don't have a ability to get on Twitter. I'm not going to go through all the jumps and hoops to get on back on Twitter. I'm banned. Uh, I've came to accept that I'm banned there. So this is me kind of asking the Bitcoin SV community, like, where the fuck is the Bitcoin SV from the Mount Gox hack? Um, I saw some YouTuber. Uh, that covers Bitcoin SV. He kind of, to me, has this like salesman vibe. I've tried watching some of his videos, but every time I watch him, it's just like I feel like I'm like driving up to a used car lot and I'm being bombarded by used car salesmen trying to sell me a car when I'm just looking. So I can't really watch this guy's videos, but I said something about Mount Gox dumping. Um, you know, I tried to watch the episode, but he really didn't talk about it uh, as far as I remember. Uh, about where this Bitcoin SV uh, has gone on Mt. Gox. Like, does anybody have a clue where it's at? Um, you know, drop it in the comment section. Send me a link if you can find something online uh, on YouTube or Rumble or any of these other news outlets um, for, for nonsense or news, because I would love to know what happened to it. Um, I mean, it seems like a really big deal that nobody's talking to. We have had a lot of delistings on Bitcoin SV. Bittrex uh, is going to be delisting BSV. Um, but they're also moving out of the United States. So whether or not Bitcoin SV becomes a black market coin, um, you know, if you don't know where to buy it, I, I've, I store mine on the Exodus wallet. There has been some ups and downs with it. They've paused um, swaps on pretty much, you couldn't swap Bitcoin SV kind of off and on for the last three months. They have fixed that. Uh, it's fully functional. I send um, I sent some Bitcoin SV to a, uh, a YouTuber, uh, Joshua Hensley. So I'll drop his uh, I'll drop his his tag in the, the description box. I like watching his videos. He has a really good mind mindset on Bitcoin SV and the, like the whole uh, vision of it. 
and uh, I'll drop his uh, his link in the description box. And if you're part of you know crypto or Bitcoin Cash or any kind of crypto that you're interested in peer to peer payments, I recommend checking his channel out. I get a lot of uh, a lot of insights from some of the stuff that he says. So I will be tagging him in this video. Um, and um, and basically, I just want to uh, create this video because I'm super concerned about you know, where the Bitcoin SV is in terms of Mt. Gox. And it might be something that I'm just not reading. You know, it might be somebody is, you know, dropping it in the comment box saying click here and then it's like, wow, I figured out what it was. But I am asking the Bitcoin SV community because I do have a large part of my portfolio in Bitcoin SV. Uh, in terms of coins, it's, it's the highest um, mineable coin that I hold. Uh, in terms of dollars, it's you know, second highest. So I'm very concerned about whether or not this Bitcoin SV is, you know, basically just where the fuck is it? Um, I'd love to know. And if we don't know, um, then we should want to know because it's a big deal. And, um, you know, if you guys got any thoughts on Bitcoin SV, uh, if you have any uh, insights or anything like that on what's going on in the community, uh, David Cardenas usually is in the chat room with me kind of updating us on like uh, stuff happening with Bitcoin SV and uh, David Cardenas want to do a shout out to you and um, you know we had this crypto fights thing going on where like every move on the game was a transaction I thought that was really cool uh, we kind of covered that more last year and uh, continuing to mine big blocks I mean continuing to pump out massive transactions even though we might be putting junk on the on the blockchain like who cares like at least we're testing the environment and testing what it can do and um, currently right now, I believe Bitcoin SV, other than like the proof of stake projects, like I think like, um, you know, there even might be some mineable ones that are, are cheaper in transaction fees like Digibyte or Nano. But I mean, Bitcoin SV is like right there. It's got the lowest transaction fee and it just shows the limitless, um, limit, limitless approach to what Bitcoin can do. And that's why I support this project. I don't support this project because I have some deep, uh, obsession with wanting to know who Satoshi is. I do not care. Satoshi can be one individual that's no longer with us. Or he can be one individual sitting behind a computer screen laughing his ass off at everybody about this clown show and what's going on with it. Or it can be a, a hundred thousand people around the world or a million people that is Satoshi like Bitcoin Jason has the idea of. So I don't really care who Satoshi is. And I don't think that should be the focus of Bitcoin SV moving forward. In fact, I think that it over time has became less an, of an ideology uh, be behind Craig Wright being this Satoshi figure. And it's been more kind of moved into like, what can Bitcoin SV do? How can it contribute to the uh, global economy and the crypto ecosystem? What are the, the, the vulnerabilities that we've experienced with Bitcoin SV? How have we dealt with these vulnerabilities? Because if you guys go back to 2000, uh, 13 and 14, there was one miner that controlled 51% of the hash power of BTC Core. If we go back to May to, or I think it was March or May of 2020, uh, the 51% the attack on Ethereum Classic, this doesn't really have any relevancy to price. Like if the double spins happen, yeah, but if it if the 51% attack happens without the double spin, it really doesn't matter because both of these coins, Bitcoin Core and Ethereum Classic, have gone to all-time highs, so it doesn't really scare me that there's a, there was this miner mining empty blocks. He's not dumping. Yeah, the price is dumped, but if we go back and we look at Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin SV actually did okay uh, in terms of price against Ethereum, and I'll look at that right now. Look at this. We went double in July of 2022 against Ethereum. When this whole Terra Luna meltdown was happening, Bitcoin SV mooned against Ethereum. So... It's all how you look at it, guys. If, if I want to sit here and say, oh, Bitcoin SV is, is Craig Wright and it's a scam, like, okay, that's a great idea. Now I ask you this, how many Bitcoin maxis are sitting behind this computer screen, maybe watching this video or not watching this video, that are holding their Bitcoin cash, that are holding their Bitcoin SV, that are holding their Bitcoin gold, that are holding their Bitcoin diamond, that are holding their Bitcoin HD, and they are holding all the other Bitcoin forks that no longer anybody talks about. So it's really a dumb way to look at it if all you're going to see is the negative. See the opportunity in this stuff? We, we mooned on Ethereum while this Terra Luna meltdown happened. We fucking mooned on, uh, we were the only coin that I can remember that's worth a fuck to talk about that went up on Ethereum during this, this real bad thing happening in crypto. So 
you know, people can say what they want. I'll think what I want, and you should too. You shouldn't think because people tell you the news. We did it right here too on core. So yeah, we've gone down, whatever, but this is just an update on Bitcoin SV, guys, and let me know, drop it in the comment box. Let me know what's going on with the, um, with the Mt. Gox Bitcoin SV. I mean, like I said, I might be missing some information on here. This is really just a shout out to the community members just to, uh, for awareness on it because I'm interested in knowing. So uh, drop it in the comment, guys. I'll wrap this episode up. Um, appreciate you guys watching this episode, and we'll catch you in the, uh, the next one. Later.